Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. What? Yeah, I saw that. I don't know. You promised me the front page. Things change. I've been working on that story for a month. Is my story even in here? Local, you're the lead. People in the city who haven't had running water for weeks and you buried it. So when the daughter of a high-powered attorney accuses someone of bribery and possible rape, it runs. They're not local, they're in Charlotte. People don't have time to follow you down these rabbit holes anymore. This is a dying trade. Look out there in the bullpen, Brian. When's the last time you saw it fully staffed? See, we're all struggling here. You just have to accept that there's a new sheriff in town. I'm just trying to keep everyone working. New owners. Oh, okay. So you're okay with this? Actually, no, I'm not. I read the article. I thought it was very well written. But what do you want me to do about it? To make a phone call. Hello. Hi, this is Brian Sanderson. I'm calling to refill a prescription. And that's for pain medication. Hi, Brian Sanderson. No, my birthday is September 13th. Yeah, but the problem is I spilled half of them on the street earlier this week and I don't have any left. Okay, is there anything that you can do? No, no, I can... No, thank you. I'll call Dr. Reynolds and have him write another one. Okay. Nope, thank you. Sanderson, Phillips, my office. Do you know what this is? No. It's fentanyl. Up to 100 times more potent than morphine. And they all died from this drug? Suspected. Here's the clincher. They were all marked as oxy. So we're talking all accidental ODs then, right? Maybe. If we can make the connection between this and what's happening at the Chafin Center, your story might be a national headline. And Brian, I want you running support on this one. Looking to see what's happening once the drug hits the street. Okay. Get my guy at the Department of Health a call and maybe he can shed some light. Good. I need it by the end of the week. Your story runs on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Got it. We'll get to work. Thanks. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? Hey, thanks for meeting me here. You want something to drink? No, no, no. I, I got to get back to work after this. So, what's up? How can the Department of Health help you today? Fentanyl. There's an influx of uh, hitting the streets from someplace. A couple of kids have died from it already, and my editor wants me to check into it. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. The deaths of the drugs? Both. It's a synthetic opioid. can be used to nullify pain before procedure. Thank you. The thing of it is, these are being marked as oxycodone. Oh, now that I did not know. There was a run-up in Charlotte a few months ago that was mislabeled, but they destroyed all those at the factory. Are you sure about that? The run that was mislabeled was only about a thousand, so with any luck, we'll burn through those pretty quickly. By a pretty small population, it would be a really bad situation if we had an influx of fentanyl addicts running around the streets. Can I quote you on that? As long as you make me sound good, sure. Yeah, for what I'm hearing, that one of these pills can kill you. 
we about to have a thousand dead kids on the streets? An oxy addict will go through about 120 milligrams a day, and that's three to four tablets per hit. So that cuts the number of 1,000 down to 500 to start with, and then you figure in oh, well, the number of pills left over after the OD, and the average buy is three to four days. So I'd say we're looking at a minimum of 100 deaths. Still something. So there is one more thing. What's that? I heard a rumor today about Elizabeth Chafin's treatment facility. Oh, now that's a good place. They do a lot of good, and for free, I might add. Have you ever met her? No, just at public functions. The mayor's given her a few awards for civil service. I'm hearing that the drugs that she takes in at the door are being resold on the streets to fund her work. Uh, I hope not. Ryan, if that place closes down, we're gonna have a real problem on our hands. Well, thanks for coming here, Walt. Appreciate you meeting me. Anytime. And one of these days, Susie and I are going to have to have you over for dinner again. Been too long. Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you. OK, look, just help me out here, OK? Tell me what you saw. Well, I was working there for three years, you know? And I always wondered where the money came from. But I never asked any questions. I didn't want to lose my job, Lucia, you know? Lucia, Lucia. Just tell me what happened. OK. There was a man there. OK. Do you know who he was? No. Did anybody else see him that could corroborate what you're saying? I don't know. He was standing over in the corner of the room. But I just heard part of the conversation, you know? And I saw her hand over the pills. He just put them in his backpack and left. And, and where were you during all of this? Standing in the doorway? No, I moved the floors, you know? Let's say I take you at your word and I call my friend down at the precinct and I have him come by the center. Is he going to be able to find any evidence of this? No. He gave her money and he walked out with the pills. She said she destroys them, but I don't think so. And you're telling me all of this happened over a year ago? Last July. So what took you so long to say anything? This scares me. I saw him again a few days ago, and I asked her who that man was. I shouldn't have said nothing, kept my mouth shut. What changed? Why are you talking to me now? She fired me. <laughs> and I got a son. OK. All right, look, I'll make a few phone calls. I'll see if anybody will talk to me. But right now, I don't print anything. You'll keep my name out of it, right? I mean. You wouldn't. Listen, if you're afraid there's going to be retaliation, you need to talk to the police. But no, I won't mention your name to anybody. So what happens now? Got your number. What? Very sorry to disturb you at this hour, but are you Brian Sanderson? Yeah. Sir, my name is Detective Louis Vergara. It's very important that I speak to you. I regret to inform you that your son was found dead of an apparent gunshot wound earlier tonight. Who? I believe it was your son, Michael. I understand how difficult this can be, Mr. Sanderson. Why can't you tell him me? How come you're not telling his mother? We tried, but we've been unable to locate her. night? Looks like Elizabeth Chafin has been making some moves. She hired two attorneys last night and put out a press release that talks about all the good work that she's been doing. It. You okay, Brian? I already talked to that lady yesterday about the Chafin thing. I don't believe her. What did she say? Were you able to check any of it out? Why don't you do your own damn homework, Jonathan? Hey, man. Hey, are you okay? Look, just get off me, all right? Just keep your hands off me. Sanderson, with me now. 
button it up, buddy. Are you drunk? Yeah. You're fired. Fired? It's time for you to leave. Now. My son died last night. I'm sorry. I don't want this job anyway. Do you understand that? I don't want it. Okay, Brian, you, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. It's time for you to leave. Fine. I'm leaving. I am going. I am gone. need something, you go see that boy over there. Marcus, we need to talk. Drive. Where? Away from here. I don't talk where I conduct my business. We may have a problem. Somebody's been snooping around the center. I can deal with the popos. It's not the police, it's the reporter. Listen, my name needs to stay clear no matter what. Pull over. Let's get something straight. You give me the pills, I sell the pills. So what is the problem? The problem is they aren't what you think they were. I know exactly what it was. Don't ever catch yourself thinking, I don't know why you're here for this. What do you mean? Sarah. How is my sister? Coked out, but she's still alive. We may have another problem. Somebody saw you at the center. I don't need my name in the papers. It won't be. She doesn't say anything. Name? Lucia. Lucia Andrade. See what we can do. Help her keep a little secret. You got any more of those icy treats for me? No more oxy. I told you that was a one-time deal. If I would have known what they were, I never would have given them to you. Why are you doing this? Because if I keep my doors open a little longer, I help more people. Maybe one day no, no, Sarah no, no, will. no, 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 no. You can't just put this back in the bag. Once it's out in the streets, it's out there, baby. You see, you're changing the face of the city. You gonna get your patience more than you ever thought. Marcus, would you tell her something for me? I ain't your secretary.
Hey, it's the only personal thing you had left on your desk. Thought you might want it back. You know where I live. Isn't it our job to find out the things that other people want to keep a secret? She said to Regina, it's true. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. I need another drink. Brian, you know that's not a good idea. Well, you're not my sponsor anymore. Okay. So, what do you do now? I don't know, Jonathan. I haven't seen my kid in three years. It was Michael. Talk to Marie or David about no, it? No, he called me last night. Who? Michael. Eight four two nine one. You need to talk to Marie. Well, Marie made it very clear to me that I am no longer welcome in her life. Do you have her number? Yeah, I have a number. I don't know if it works. Why don't you give it a try? You know, somebody killed my son. I have no idea what kind of man he'd become. If you want, I'll do some digging around. See if I can find anything out. Have you heard anything? No. In the meantime, do you have somebody that can perform the service? Like a priest? Yeah. No, Marie wouldn't go for anything like that. Me, I haven't stepped foot in a church since the day I was married. If you're hungry, there's some pizza in the fridge. Yeah. I think I'll stay a while. Across town, a body was discovered. Reporter Lisa Spar is on scene to give you more information about that. Authorities have attributed a number of local deaths to this dangerous new drug. You know anything about that? Young woman was found in this yes, house behind me. Her name has not been released, but police believe the murder to be linked to the increasing drug trade. Remember, you can always report suspicious activity. A story you're working on? No, I'm not working on that. Listen, I can't remember the last time I came in here for conversation. You wonder why I drink at home? It's because I really don't like to be bothered. Why come here at all? Because sometimes the walls won't shut the hell up either. been called what's your answer God only wants to love you he doesn't want to do any harm to you did you 
Brian. Brian. What? Can, come, on. Come, on, come on. Come on. Over here. Over here. Come on. What? What is going on? Michael was gone for three years, and I never got to know him. Brian, you can't blame yourself Just, for that. What if I could do one last thing for him? What if I could find out what kind of a man he was? Oh, Brian, look. He was on the street for three years. Three years, man. What do you think you're going to go out and retrace every Jonathan, step he made in the last three years? I let him down as a father. I didn't do my job. Look, look, listen, listen, listen. If I can do this one last thing, I can reclaim my son. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I'll take care of this. What's going on? I'll be right back to bed. Go back to bed, buddy. Daddy'll be back inside in just a minute, okay? You are back. That's okay. All right. Look. We'll sit down in the morning. We'll figure out a plan, okay? We'll figure this out. Okay. Look, I see look, I'm gonna go get my keys and I'm gonna no, go no, and take I'm you. okay. Look, go back. Right. Let's go go be with your family. I'm fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Mr. Sanderson, I'm Clarice. Um, if you please follow me, the rest of the family is waiting in the parlor. Allow me to express our deepest sympathies. If there's anything that you need, please just let me know. No, I, I think we're fine, thank you. If you could just let us know when the service begins. Of course, ma'am. Oh, and one more thing. If you could just uh, find my husband and send him in, please. You brought a flask of whiskey to bury your son? I don't want to hear it, Marie, really. You know I don't. And by the way, there's plenty that I could say about your behavior, but shall we just keep it civil until our son is buried? Don't make this day about you. Put that damn flask away. Well, no one knew if you were going to make it today, Brian. Well, I'm sure Michael would appreciate it now that you're here. Was I unexpected here today, Victor? No, not like that. We just hadn't heard from you is all. And Jules here raised the question. We just didn't know. That was a law practice, Victor. Good, real good. A lot of money in public defense. You know Jules here? This is the first time you two have met. We were all wondering if today would be the day. He called me the night he died. What'd he say? I missed the call. I was wondering if any of you had any contact with him lately. I knew where he was, what he, he was, was doing. He was your son. I hadn't seen him in a year. He wanted me to bail him out of jail. And I decided we, not... We decided. We decided not to. That was the last time I had any contact with him. So nothing more recent? Nothing that could lead me to him? He is right through that door, Brian. I'm sorry, but it's time to begin the services. If you all please just follow me. This way. I don't know, Brian. I. I he just left one day. I don't know where he went. I never did. You know that he even did that when you were still around. Marie. Marie, I want to know why my son is dead. He was living with you. So excuse me if I expect that my wife Your to do- Your ex-wife, Brian, it has been six years. 
When are you going to accept that? And he lived with you, so forgive me if I expect that his mother should do the most responsible thing and keep our children alive. Brian. Instead, I've got somebody coming to my house in the middle of the night telling me my son is dead. Brian, we did the very best we could with him. Look, I want to know who my son was, and I want to know why he died. I can't answer that. I can't answer that any more than you can. You of all people know how difficult it could be sometimes. Don't put this on me. Don't you make this my fault. All I want is answers, Marie. That's what you don't seem to understand. Sometimes there are no answers. There isn't some cosmic force guiding our world. God, Brian. I thought you had finally gotten past all that. You know, it never failed to impress me how you could wriggle into almost any conversation we were having. Come on, honey. Let's go. Brian, if you are really serious about finding out who Michael was, why don't you start with our other son? Michael stayed with him a couple of times. sends their regards to. Yeah. You see any of them here? You must not be too broken up about it. Listen, I did some checking on what we were talking about last night, and it turns out we got a tip on Michael's murder. Yeah. I got Regina to sign off on making it a story. I want to come with you. Yeah, thought you might. Well, what do you know? Not much. Turns out the guy that found the body, he's in a halfway house over off of 30 seconds. You are my son. Just wanted to check up on you. Mom said he used to stay here sometimes when he left home. He did. So that's it? Simple he did? I think I deserve a little more respect than you that. You deserve? I've heard all the stories about how little brother was always your favorite, the chosen one. Do you know he barely even mentions you, and when he does, it's about how you'd go out of your way for him, the drug addict? And yet, even still, he's the only thing that you're worried about. I'm sorry, who, who is she? Why is she talking to me like that? She's right, Brian. You were always more concerned with him. It's like, as soon as he was born, you forgot I was even around. And I did everything you asked. I, I stayed in school, I got a good job, I helped out around the house, and none of that mattered to you. He hurt mom, he stole money from you, and you'd always let him back knowing he'd do the same thing all over again. David, he was my son. What am I supposed to do, let him die out there in the streets? <laughs> yeah, good job stopping that one. You know, I did everything I could to keep this family together. I mean, if that meant putting a little extra effort into your brother, then that's what I did. He tore this family apart. It was his actions he was making. You could have saved this family years of hurt. And for what? He ended up in the same place anyway. How could you say that? That's your brother. Because it's true. He drove a wedge between you and mom. He's the reason you drank yourself to sleep every night. Look, you shouldn't say that. I love both of you equally. <sighs> right. All I ever got was the scraps. You know, I never left you alone. I was always there for you. I bet he's the reason you're here right now, isn't he? Isn't he? Yes. Get out! Get out! 
Please, I have to know what happened that night. Save your crusade for someone else. I don't know where he went or what he did. I have nothing here for you. Now I've asked you to leave. Go! Not well. Were you able to learn anything? No. Hey, pull over up here, would you? I need a drink. You know I can't do that, right? So you can have water. He's 15 years old. We have been seeing Victor for the past year. We've been doing so well. I thought we'd finally move past all that bull that we've been through. Just told me after the kids went to bed. He said that the two of them had been together for a year and that he'd asked her to marry him. And she'd said yes. <laughs> My wife tells me she's engaged to another man. And she had the documents from my attorney. All my demons laid bare. We had a terrible fight that night. I think I slept for the next two days. Anyway, after it was all over, she asked me to leave the house. As I'm walking through the door into the garage, see Michael. He's sitting there. On the other side of the lawn, just on the other side of the kitchen. I'm terrified. We didn't say anything to each other. I'm not even sure that his mom knows he was there that night, listening to everything. So I drove back by the house the next day and tried to talk to him. There's another car in the drive. I drove past the house every day for a week. Every day. Same car, sitting there in the driveway, as if there is nothing in the world wrong with that. Why are you telling me this? Because that's the day I lost him. I think if I just stopped and just not said something to him, maybe all this could have been avoided. Look, I know a guy. He attends services with me. I'm sure I could get him to talk to you. One of your men of God? You friends don't want me or my problems. I think you'd be surprised at how much you have in common with them. Come on. It's getting late. Let's get out of here. everything I have on the investigation so far. That's Wade Mullins, the crack addict. He's the one that found Michael's body. But I've also got the blood results from Michael. They're in that folder, too. He tested positive for cocaine and several other opiates in his bloodstream. The official cause of death is multiple gunshot wounds. 
What do the police think? Drug addict got shot. Their only real interest is the fentanyl found on him. There's a Detective Vergara who's heading that part up, but his only real concern is finding the dealer. Vergara's the one that told me about Michael's death. What do you want? Wade Mullins. Who's asking? I'm Jonathan Phillips. We spoke on the phone earlier. Yeah, yeah. Is there, um, I don't know, maybe some place we could talk? It's got to be close. It's what I get for finding that boy out there. Come on in. Did you know him? What's this, man? I thought you was doing the interview. You know, get my name in the papers and everything. I'm just along for the ride. If it happens, it'll happen. But he's the one that's conducting the interview. All right. All right, I see that. Now, you ask me that question again. Did you know him? No, I just seen him laying there, right? And I went over to make sure everything was okay, right? Just being a good Samaritan. Well, what time was this? I don't know. After 12, I had been down at that diner, right? And it was after I left there that I saw him laying there in the street. And... Listen, man, that kid was dead when I got there, right? I didn't have anything to do with that. We know. Did you find anything on him? What? You mean, like, did I search him? Yeah, I got his wallet over there. Listen, it was like that when I found it. Do the police know you have this? Don't ask, don't tell, right? You mind if I keep this? Like hell, man. Hey, he's the kid's father. Okay. She's gonna keep the card, all right? No, man, keep it. Did you find anything else on him? Yeah, but you can't have any of that, man, you know? What was it, Oxy? Some of it, yeah. Word of advice, Wade? Stay away from it. It's not what you think it is. I think it's all we need from you right now, Wade. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, when am I going to see this in the papers? My mama always wanted to see my picture in there, you know, for something good I've done. Yeah. We'll let you know. Thanks. Hello? Hello, Mr. Sanderson? Yeah, who's this? Detective Louis Vergara. I trust you remember me. Is this about my son? Actually, no. Oh, I'm calling in reference to a number of prescriptions that have been filled in your name. Yeah? A local pharmacy called it in as suspicious. This type of thing usually turns out to be nothing, but all the same, it would be good if you came in and we could get a statement from you. I'm afraid uh, now is not a really good time for me. That's fine, but the sooner we can put this behind us, the better. Would sometime later this week be possible? Yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. Great. Like I said, usually nothing to worry about. Just have to follow through with these things, you know? Yeah, I understand. I'll see you by the end of the week, then. Thanks. Bye. Who is that? That's nothing. Let's go. Tony Wilson Construction. No answer? No. Can leave a message? I never do. Let me see that. I know where this is. It's a new subdivision going up in the fourth ward. They filed a complaint yesterday about the water situation. It's quarter of five now. 
Even if they are working late, we won't make it by the time they pack up and leave. We can catch them tomorrow? Yeah, first thing in the morning. All right. Hey, this is a surprise. Come on in. Yeah, kind of is for me too. Do you want something to drink? No. I'm fine. So, what brings you here? I'm here to talk about Michael. What about him? Listen, I, um... I know why you're doing all this, and... Believe me, it, it's cool, it's just... Hard. David, what is it? What are you trying to Did you to know tell he was trying to turn his life around? Trying to straighten things up? No, oh, I didn't know. And... Julie found this this morning. It's his writing. Chris? Yeah. He had this notebook he would write in, and I liked some sketches on it and stuff. Did he ever mention this guy? Yeah, once, um, a few months back. Hey, do you know where I can find him? No idea. But, um... He was supposed to meet up with him that day. Hey, Brian. I won't be able to go out with you today. This Chafin situation just blew up. She may be indicted by the end of the day. They made the connection last night between her and the facility in Charlotte. But listen, I want to get a hold of that Lucia woman that you interviewed. Seems she's dropped off the face of the earth. All right, okay. I'm pulling into City Hall now. Talk to you later. Wait here. I'm looking for Tony Wilson. He's right there. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about Michael Sanderson. Never talk about employees past or present with the cops. Well, I'm not the cops. Then I don't have to talk to you, do I? He's my son. Then tell him he's fired. I got a business to run. Enough's enough. He's done around here. My son's dead. Johnny, can you give us a minute? Repeat that? Michael's dead. Hey, man, I'm sorry. What happened? Look, I'm looking for a guy, Christopher something. My son was spending time with him. Never heard of him. How long was Michael working for you? Mm, off and on for about three months. He just showed up one day, said he was looking for work. Said he'd just gotten out of that chafing program. He's looking pretty rough, though. So I told him I'd give him a day's pay for a day's work, and every day he showed up after that. He's doing pretty good, so after about a week, I hired him on officially. You said off and on. Yeah, he just started missing days. I never could reach him either. First, it was just a day here and a day there, but soon he'd be gone for days on end. I guess the last time he was here was about a week and a half ago. Did he have any friends here? Do you know where he was staying? No, he's pretty much of a loner. I mean, he'd talk to you if he went up and asked him a question, but never much. I don't think he was staying anywhere in particular. I think he was kind of bouncing around. Well, thank you. Hey, listen. I wish I could be of more help, but he kind of stayed to himself, like I said. I wish I could tell you more. Thank you. Thank you for helping my son. I appreciate it. Hey, 
I'd do it again tomorrow if another kid showed up like that. A little Christian charity never hurt no one, did it? No. No, I guess it didn't. Sorry about Michael. Good luck. Jonathan, he was at the Chafin Center. Cool, I'll see you in five. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is uh, Brian Sanderson. I believe my son was in here for treatment about, uh, well, within the last six months. His mother and I have been looking for him. I'm sorry, sir, but we keep our patient's information strictly confidential here. I can't Did however... I mention to you that he was a minor? What did you say his name was? Michael Sanderson. Hi, yes, I have a gentleman here claiming to be Michael Sanderson's father. He says that he's looking for his son. Yes, that's what I told him. Uh, he says that he's a minor. Yes, of course. His name is Michael Sanderson. Okay, thank you. Someone will be with you in a moment, sir. Good day, Mr. Phillips. We'll speak again soon, Dr. Chafin. Mr. Sanderson, I am Elizabeth Chafin, the director here. How may I help you? Miss Chafin? Doctor? Dr. Chafin, I was hoping that you could help me find my son. Why don't we talk in my office, uh, if you'll follow me? So when was the last time that you saw him? Three years ago. And no word since then? We had no idea where he was until today. Mr. Sanderson, according to our records, Michael's 23 years old. Obviously, he had the identification to prove that. Now, you threatened my receptionist and you lied. So why don't you tell me exactly why you're really here? I'm trying to find out about my son. Well, he's no longer a minor. There's nothing I can tell you. Can I see a file of when he left, where he might have gone? No, I'm sorry, I cannot share that with you. Did you leave anything behind? If he did, we will hold it for him until he returns. He's dead. Died last week in a drug deal. It went bad. Dr. David, I'm trying to find out who my son was. What kind of a man he'd become. Will you help me? I'm sorry, without a court order, my hands are tied. Is there anybody else that I could talk to, maybe? I just want to find out what his interests were, what kind of music he listened to. Yes, it's Dr. Chafin. I have Michael Sanderson's father here. Would you please ask Melissa Thomas to meet him down in the East Hall? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sanderson? Yes. I was your son's nurse while he was here. How may I help you today? Well, I just wanted more information on my son. I want to know who he was. Michael. Michael was actually one of the good ones. Right up until the day he left. He was always polite. Always kind. Withdrawal can be a hell of a thing. And your son handled it about as well as could be expected. Better than some, actually, especially for a first-timer. But what it comes down to, Mr. Sanderson, is your son wasn't broken enough. 
when he walked through our doors. He could see the cliff, but he hadn't fallen over yet. He just hadn't hit rock bottom. Why are you telling me all of this when Dr. Chafin wouldn't? You're his father, correct? Yes. Then wouldn't you agree you have a right to know? Absolutely. Listen, this place is going down. The things you hear happened here, they did. That stuff is just gonna wind up in an evidence locker anyway, so I thought it best that you have it. Thank you. Oh, uh, is there anybody that works here by the name of Christopher? That name doesn't ring a bell. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sent your car home. And how'd it go? Got his phone. All right. It's a start. Who's the last person to call? Me. But he keeps calling somebody named Priest. Priest? Who the hell is Priest? No answer. No. Not even a name on the message. Great. That woman you interviewed, Lucia? Turns out she wasn't lying. Unfortunately, she's been found murdered, stabbed to death in a crack house across town. There's other sources. Yeah. Oh, and also, it turns out the Chafin, they're not destroying the drugs after the addicts arrive either. Where it goes, I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd say some dealer somewhere. Any leads? Plenty. Man, this thing stretches out like a spider web across the entire city. We're talking current patients, past patients, even one that now works in Charlotte. But as far as who set up the original deal or how it ever got started, man, I just don't know. Has Chafin admitted to anything? Nah, not yet. She has quit giving interviews. And her PR firm, they won't respond to any questions. She's ducking and hiding, hoping you'll move on. Looking that way. Where to next? The diner across the street from where Michael's body was found. I'm gonna talk to the manager, find out if he saw anything. Maybe by some miracle, he's got some security cameras. Good luck. Regina's asked me to turn in any story I have on your son by tomorrow. Right now, there really isn't one. I've got to go full time on Chafin. I just, I don't know that I'll be able to help you out much more on this. It's okay. All right. Who you knows? So maybe I'll actually find what I'm looking for. I hope you do. When you get to the bottom of this, write about it. Somebody out there needs it. Sometimes there are no answers. You of all people know how difficult it could be sometimes. Michael was actually one of the good ones. He was always polite, always kind. He was trying to turn his life around. Trying to straighten up. Whoa! The pad. Hey. Brian, give it to me now. Uh, what you're talking about? If you don't give it to me now, I'll tear this place apart until I find it. Give it to me now! It's really, man, I don't know what you're talking Detective about. Detective Vergara, phone me to follow up on your prescription of Vicodin prescription. I have not written to you in three years, I checked. 
I could lose my license over this, Brian. I'm out of options. The police know what's been going on. I'm not gonna lie to them. Well, I didn't know what else to do. You have put my livelihood and the welfare of my, my family in danger, and that is not something that I take lightly. Now, you give me the script pad right now, and I will walk away, but you and I are done. I don't want to see you again after tonight. Walt, well, look, I'm sorry. Ah, that's no excuse. Brian, has anybody else used this? No. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah, no, I'm not. Ha have you forged my signature on anything else? Mm. How many times did you use this? I don't know. If you were in trouble, you could have come to me. Now you just better pray that Vigar comes up with some other answers on his own because I'm done with you. I don't want to hear from you again. you left your office building. Look, I was hoping I could talk to you again. About me or about my brother? David, look, you've got to understand that understand I'm trying- Understand what? That even when he's dead, he's still the more important one? I'm trying to piece together what happened. For all of us, because we deserve to know. Do you think maybe some of us don't want to know? Son, look, you've got to help me. He was with him that night, Christopher. They ate at a diner on 9th. Do you know anybody that could lead me to this guy? Nope. Sorry, I gave you everything I had. David. David! You know what? Julie was right. You never cared about me, and I'm under no obligation to care about you. What could I get for today, sir? I was wondering if you had any security cameras. Excuse me? Security cameras, do you have any? Mick! Hey, Mick! Mick, I think you ought to talk to this guy. What's the problem? No problem, I just wanted to know if you have any security cameras on the premises. Security cameras? Why are you asking about cameras? Because I'm doing a story about the kid that was murdered across the street. Did you see anybody with him that night? Some guy that comes in here with the addicts, I think. Okay, are there any cameras? Can I see the tapes to see who he was with? No, no cameras. Why are you here? I'm a newspaper reporter. I'm doing a story on the victim. Police get a report, don't they? I'm looking for more than that. I'm trying to find out who he was. Guy's name was Chris. He tries to help out, get him a meal, get him a job. They were in here a few times. Do you know where I can find him? I haven't seen him since that night. Where did they sit? That booth right there. Always the same one. I think the kid liked to look out the windows. That night, I locked up behind him. They was the last ones out. How did he look to you that night, the kid? He looked pretty bad off. All right, thank you for the information. No problem.
You know much about the Bible? Hopefully enough to get me in. Second Corinthians 4.16. Do not lose heart. Though the outer self is wasting away, the inner self is being renewed day by day. You know that by heart. Yeah, it goes on to talk about the transient nature of our bodies and the eternal nature of our souls. I grew up in a family full of preachers. Sometimes a little bit of it rubs off every now and then. When asked about the allegations, the mayor said he hoped they would prove untrue. We're here at the Chafin Treatment Center, where earlier today, Elizabeth Chafin was arrested and taken to the Marin County Courthouse. She was then booked on charges of felony drug possession, as well as possession with intent to sell. This is what Dr. Chafin had to say. Today's arrest is the culmination of an investigation that began when allegations of Dr. Chafin's ties to a known drug dealer became public. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Christopher Beckman. You found him. What can I do for you? Been looking for you a long time, Father. <laughs> I'm not a Catholic, but uh, you can just call me Christopher. You were with my son the night he died. Please, sit down. Yes, yes, I was with him that night and for several other nights before that. Your son was a good kid. He's really starting to turn his life around. What were you doing with him that night? Came by, he asked for my help. It didn't help much, did it? Did the best I could. I need to know who my son was. Was it enough to know that your son loved you? He was trying every way he knew to come back home to you. There were some ugly times, some tough times. It all came to a head the night that he died. But I thought you said he was doing better. He was. And why couldn't you have stopped it? We all have to make our own decisions. Michael needed to find his own way back. I managed to get a hold of this. It's Michael's journal. I gave this to him. Talks about God in there. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, we do talk about God from time to time around here. I need to know what happened. Well, I met Michael several months ago in the park. He was begging, uh, asked for money, said he needed to get home. Uh, wouldn't give him any cash, but I did offer to buy him a train ticket on the one condition that I could go with him just to make sure that he got home all right. He agreed, so we hopped on a train and went uptown. To my building? Yes. Michael got all the way up to the front door before he stopped. Said he couldn't face you, not that way. He asked me to take him to his brother's apartment, so I did. Gave him my card, told him to get in touch with me if he needed anything. He'd called about three weeks after that first meeting. He said he wanted money, but he wouldn't tell me why. He was in pretty rough shape. It was late. There's an all-night diner three or four blocks down the road, so I took him there. I know it. Uh, I bought him some food, and we talked. We talked about him. We talked about me. We, we talked a lot about you. But you didn't give him any help? You didn't, you didn't tell him about all this? You know, mostly I just listened. It's a process. It always is. But he did let me pray for him. Now, that's a huge first step. Michael wanted to get clean. He knew he had a rough road ahead of him, but he was smart. I mean, you can show that kid something once, and he got it. It's like that. 
I found out that he was interested in carpentry. So I opened up the wood shop to him and he would spend hours in there just working on the smallest details, stuff that people would never see. <laughs> I'd ask him, Michael, who's gonna know? He'd look at me with those big eyes and he'd say, I'm gonna know. That's the kind of man that your son was becoming. You think my son is in heaven? You guys were supposed to have all the answers. Yeah, I wish. I might have one answer for you. The name of Michael's dealer, Marcus Johnson. Goes by the name of Choo Choo. Choo Choo, why do I know that name? They picked him up earlier today. He's probably still in holding at the station. Thank you. What do you want with me, man? Did I win a contest? Marcus, my name's Choo Choo. Brian. Choo Choo. I'm Brian Sanderson. Okay. My son Michael was. Mikey? What? <laughs> wow. Too small of a world. Yeah, you know that boy's dead, right? Little boy been on that stuff for way too long. Gave me a fat bill for what Choo Choo had to offer. I had me a real fine. Well, he was with night. you that night? Yes, he was. He was with me. That How night. How'd he end up with you? Economics, man. Economics? I had something, and he needed it. Economics. All right, look, help me out here. Do you know anybody else that he was buying from? I can help you out. But then you gotta help me out. You gotta make a deal with Choo Choo. I don't know, Choo Choo, what do you want? Come here. No, okay, come here, just a little, just a little bit closer. There we go, come on. Listen, I got some twisted white bread public defender who says I gotta get some other twisted white bread fella to get on the stand and say, Choo Choo's been a good boy. Do you get me? Yeah, you want me to lie for you. I don't even know you. Don't play games with me, old man. I got secrets that you want. Look, did Michael go anyplace or see anybody after that deal? That boy didn't go anywhere after that deal. You know what I'm saying? How did you find me? Was it the preacher man? Or was it the brother? Marcus, what did you mean when you said he didn't go anywhere after the deal? I bet you it was the preacher man. That man is the man, okay? But you can't hang out with him for too long. That dude will get in your mind and make you start thinking things that you never wanted up there. Just tell me about my son. That boy got what he deserved. But right now, that ain't got nothing to do between me and you. You want something, I need something. Brian, decisions got consequences, and right now you have a decision to make. Marcus, you tell me what happened to my son. You want to know the truth, he wants to know the truth, he wants to know the truth. You can't handle the truth, old man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where you going? We're just getting started. I'm done talking, Marcus. Oh, you coming back, right? Because, Brian, I got more stories about your son. Yeah, I don't want to hear any more of your stories. Okay, well, then I'll leave you with this. 
Actions got consequences. You better remember that as you walk out of here today. Choo choo. Choo choo. Yeah, if you can take care of the supplemental, it'd be great. Yeah, yeah thanks, Charlie. No Brian Sanderson, you missed our appointment. There isn't something you're trying to hide from me, is there? I know who killed my son. Marcus Johnson? We know. Just can't prove it yet, but we will. Well, you know. Why aren't you out there building a case A lot of this cases system? like yours come across my desk. I'm in here now to talk to someone else about another case. I gotta go. Piece of advice, Brian. Stick around town. Wouldn't want to have to come looking for you. Still had a key. We never knew if we were going to have to get back in here and clean the place up. What can I do for you, Marie? I heard what you're doing, and I just want to tell you that I think it's a good thing. Thanks, Marie. See, you're still drinking old Masterson. Is that what you came here about? No. Look, David stopped by today. He said that you've been following him. I wouldn't call it following. Well, David and Julie got engaged last night. And she doesn't want you at the wedding. But I'm not comfortable with that. So I made him promise that they would talk about it again before they make a final decision. And I just, I thought you should know. The Michaels. They gave it to me at the Chief and Treatment Center. You should read it. it. Seems he was on his way to finding God. Is that such a bad thing, Marie? I'm sure it makes you very proud. I know who killed Michael. What do you mean? It's a drug dealer named Choo Choo. Why are you telling me this? What about the police? The police know. They have him in lockup. Is that why he's in jail? No. For killing my son? No, that's not why he's there. He's there for murdering some other woman and assorted drug charges. Look, but I have a good problem. I may need Victor's advice. <sighs> what? Why? Because I'm gonna need legal counsel for falsifying prescriptions. your son. This is where he spent his last few weeks. You know, I really thought he was going to make it. Maybe even come back here, be a mentor to some of these folks. He had friends here, Brian. People who were in the same place he was. Come on, I want to show you something. Now this, this was going to be his masterpiece. You know, I, I sat right here that afternoon talking to him. There was, there was something in his voice. You could hear it. He was going to use. I knew it. 
He smiled at me. He knew that I knew. I tried to get him to stay. I tried to keep him working on the table, but he said no, he, he needed to go get some air. He needed to take a walk, clear his head. And then he left. got shot. But if you want to know about your son, it's all right there on that table. An unfinished life. I came here tonight because I, I don't know where else to go. I need somebody who can help me. I'll do whatever I can. What my son said in his journal about your faith. I want to know about that. He said something about a change. I need to know what he knew. Hey, Jonathan, come on in. So this is it? You don't want to wait till the trial was over? Not a chance. This is my son's story, not Marcus Johnson's. I can understand that. Give some nice closure to your readers, though. So, I hear you have a new job. Yeah. That Chafin thing did a lot to restore what we do around there. Regina bumped me up to the city desk. We even hired a few new kids to work. That's, that's fantastic. I guess the news business is booming. Yeah, it is. Hey, I want to thank you for passing this off for me. Oh, sure. You mind if I read it first? Absolutely. Oh, uh, by the way, hmm? I get this off on Friday. <laughs> All right. Yep, one year. I want to thank you and Walt for being such good friends and walking me through this. Yeah, we were just there for your support. See you Sunday? You will see me Sunday. All right. Take care. What in the world has come over me? You're fired. Been running in circles. Get out! Finally, I'm I don't want to hear from you again. Over and over. It never ends with me. Forever and ever. Tonight, you have been called. What's your answer? Try to remember. You had no direction. Brian Gardner Sanderson. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You can't handle the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. The Son of your Father. Searching the whole land Your selfish behavior Will you be here in the morning? Oh, I'm asking you, Lord Cause you had no direction
Healing my tears. 